Tetna Schmetnus. Part two, as promised, of the uh, Pacers gym tour. He's gonna run us through some of his training, some of the weird <laughs> he has in the garden. I think he's getting into character right now. And also, if you ain't got spider webs, rust, and bird shit on your weights, then are you really training, probably? Bird shit on your plates is anabolic. In here, excuse me. This is uh, called warming up, 80s style. We never used to warm up like oh, they do now. We used to just put deep heat on and that would warm you up. Everyone always says to me that they haven't got time to train. But when I was working nightclubs, driving lorries, <laughs> and doing everything else, we still had, oh yeah, I still got my pants on, I ain't got my pants on, um, clothes on yet. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I used to always do this workout for a leg workout. And believe you me, this is the same as a, probably an hour and a half proper leg session, all in five minutes. Now, if you haven't got five minutes to do a workout, that there's something definitely wrong. And I'll demonstrate the biggest, the, the thing it takes most of the time is setting the equipment up. But there is like, science in this. Like a disclaimer, you know? No disclaimer. Do this and you'll be, get your big strong legs. Science not included. Now, what do you say to people that keep saying you need a tetanus shot to train in your gym? A tetanus shot? Yeah. Uh, rust is good as iron, isn't it? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not going to hurt you. It's iron. Good for you, give you strength. I'm gonna do like a, what they call a triple set. So all the time that people say that they haven't got time to train, this could be done in literally three minutes, flat out, and my legs are not as big as, I'm not as big as I was when I was younger, but I'm, I've adjusted the weights lighter, but the same principle is there. High intensity, Mike Metzler um, way of doing things. Just eight on that, increasing to 10 on the uh, safety squat bar. Um, because I haven't got a leg extension machine, we'll do uh, a pull on that and then a set of hypers on that just, just for good measure. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Oh shit. Oh. Ah. I'm good. I'm good. So move them packs out of the way. I've got to. This one. Something's ah. oh, off. <laughs> He does this every time. <laughs> oh, now my legs, I can't move. 
There you go, pump like that. Uh, you don't need to do two or three sets. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Ooh, yeah, that's, don't eat fish and chips before you do it. Makes it hard. This is uh, this has been added to my weightlifting now as uh, hip thrusts. I said because my daughter-in-law has uh, introduced me to these, and I realised I was absolutely useless at them. So now I'm trying to generate a bit of strength. Yeah, this is really good for the for whatever these are called. Probably not good to watch me get into it because it's a bit undignified. Yeah, we'll cut that bit out. <laughs> Leg press we've had for about, I'd say, 35 years. It was a whole leg press, but uh, we used to load it up to, I think it was in a region of uh, getting onto a thousand kilos, and then we used to get uh, my trainer partner to sit on it. He was 170 kilos, and the frame underneath it snapped. So all we've done is replaced it with one of the, uh, was it a frame carry it's just to hold it all together and we're surprised how well that works it's uh the step the pulleys um the wheels and the bearings are still fine everything in fact to be honest we found not many uh leg presses work as good as this one i actually bought a proper uh safety squat bar off ebay but this works for some reason a lot better it's a lot easier to control it sits nice on the shoulders and uh after you get used to the the feeling of this uh weight in the back of your neck and then you know we don't we've got pads on this bit but you have to pussy it sometimes but no it works really well and it's simple it's such a simple design and easy to make for building up massive power for deadlifting um you'll find you've got power in different ranges we work from this uh you know and we that's, a, that's more or less a full deadlift that one just below the knee there where the oil bar was but all we need to do is to a different range which this is when you really start building power if you can go for whichever you don't need to mess about with the blocks as such and we were doing sort of up to the regions of 450 50 kilos from and it's surprising how much power your build because we're strong man we're not looking for a, an olympic style powerlifting deadlift we're looking for sheer movement of power um short movements but a lot of strength that's how i get it down <laughs> i got it done there. i had it on my back and i just chucked it onto that oh yeah but you know you keep, you keep doing that it will bust it looks like some shit out of saw I feel like torture trap then. You go, you find, you find that is a perfect position. Yeah, you can do, but the weight should go on there. Oh, Open your legs a bit wider. And just, just come forward a bit more so you ass it. So when you go down, you've ticked your ass out. And you're like sitting back. Yeah, so you're sort of, you're doing a proper squat, but because you've got hold of the frame, you can't come out of position. Yeah, look at that, look at that. You go way, way lower than you need to. Because of the angle of the plank on the floor, it's like a proper. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, oh, that's even better when you do it. Because I didn't have the benefit of uh, someone with me, but after this, it's not foolproof. That's the problem with this one. So this one is not foolproof. No, this. It's, if you're on your own, it's a pain in the butt. That's not health and safety advice. Take, take that. And then this would go on that. And then you bring it back to here. This is absolutely perfect. And with these weights on, you can hold onto these for handles. perfect say we were gonna get our camera camera girl to demonstrate to show how good it is no 
Are you camera shy? Is that true of those camera people? Not you. I, I am. I'm very shy actually. <laughs> uh, so that's what more we can do. We yeah. more episodes, no matter. Naturally. Well, I think now we've done the legs, people will ask you what we used to do for the chest yeah. and what we used to do for the back if we were going to do it quick. Because most people are lazy asses and just want to do the quick session and get done. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I'd imagine on the next episodes we'll cover chest. Uh, thanks for watching the gym tour. We're going to do more episodes. My dad talking about the training we do here. Might even get my brother featuring something. He used to be a strong man or something, I don't know. But uh, we'll see. Like and subscribe, hit the button.